everyone and welcome to another a thousand ways tutorial in this video I'll be showing you guys how to create a cube here in Illustrator using the shear tool now this technique is pretty difficult because you'll be making everything manually including your perspective of your squares sometimes your placement can be a bit off so be careful about that also I would advise that you guys do not apply strokes to your squares as you can see here, mines have a gradient fill, but you can have a solid color. Just do not apply a stroke to it. You start off by creating your new document. I'm going to press Command N for PC users, Control N. And as you can see, my settings are set 4x4. Four four. Now I'm happy with that, but yours can be whatever you want them to be. I'm going to click OK. Once that's done, I'm going to grab my rectangle tool here and create a square shape so to do that I'll simply hold down my shift button and make sure that my square is set to one inch by one inch and that's nice so I'll grab my selection tool by pressing the V button on my keyboard and I'm simply going to hold down my option key or alt key if you're a PC user and simply click and drag while holding shift to duplicate your square and make sure it's directly beside the previous square so I'm going to grab my first square once again and select my shear tool here now for those of you who do not see this icon be aware that your shear tool is located where your scale tool is so just be mindful of that now I'm going to bring my cursor over to the center of the two squares here and just bring this anchor point down a bit. That seems to be good. So I'm going to grab my selection tool once again and simply select my second square and grab my shear tool and do the same. Make sure it connects with the previous anchor point of the first square. Once that's done, grab my selection tool and just bring this down a bit because it's a little too high. Once that's done, I'm going to grab my rectangle tool once again, or you can simply press the letter M on your keyboard and make another square. Make sure it's one inch by one inch or whatever setting you set for your previous squares. And now I'm going to rotate this square 45 degrees. But before I do that, I want to make sure that my fill is set to none. So I'm simply going to cut this off here. So I can see the lines of my previous shapes here. And I'm simply going to go up to Object, Transform, Rotate. And as you can see, 45 is already set and Preview is set so I can see what happens here and I'm going to click OK now grab my selection tool once again and here I'm going to adjust the width of my square now I want my square to equal up to the same width as where my two shapes uh, end here so simply just adjust that by going across there we go now you see over here there's a gap there but you really do not have to worry about that right now You can simply bring it down a bit and this is what I mean by placement it's not always accurate so now while having this square selected I'll go up to object transform reset bounding box and this will basically adjust the height without messing with the width and when you see you have what looks to be the top of a square where your smart guides show you how it looks I think that looks pretty decent so I'm just going to hold my, down my shift button and bring it up to where it should be and that looks pretty good now this is what I mean by not applying strokes you see here where it looks much thicker Obviously, this shape is overlapping my previous square, so this is why I suggested not to apply strokes to your sides. So we'll simply remove that and apply a fill of whatever color. And I'll say red. 
And remove the stroke. Oh, cancel. Remove that stroke there. Move this stroke. And apply a fill of, of green, actually. <laughs> or applied blue. I love blue. Okay, so here you have solid colors for your cube. And you can resize them to whatever you want. And it looks pretty decent. So now, as you can see, it's harder to see where your imperfections are. And here, if you wanted to, you could simply go to Layers and find where your red square is. And you can set that in front of the blue square. So then you can hide that overlapping there. And that's just basically how you make a cube using the share tool thank you guys for watching i appreciate all the support and i hope to see you guys in another a thousand ways tutorial